Hey guys, Zero Concepts here, welcome to episode 1 of Looking at the Pros Black Ops 2 edition. And basically guys, if you don't remember, on Mono for Free on my channel, i done a, a, a um, Mono for Free st statistics like loadout for all the top players in the leaderboards for Mono for Free. So I thought I'd do the same for Black Ops 2, and, and I thought I'd start with someone I started with in my last um, series, and I've started Big Art 76, and, and it was a hugely successful video, it was the most viewed video in the actual series, so I thought why not start with Big Art 76 in this series, and obviously guys, he has been playing Black Ops 2, and he's already reached Prestige Smash, as you can already see from his homepage on Black Ops 2. Just looking at his first page, you can see that Digard has a 1.99 KD, so basically a 2 KD, you know, almost a 2 KD then, and his best primary is a, I'm not sure what it is, I think it's the Tar gun, it's called the Tarsman, and it is a 3 KD, and his most played is Hardpoint, and he's played 214 hours, and... Uh, I don't know if you guys know, but Hardpoint is probably the, the easiest way to rank up because you can just keep going on to the headquarters or the um, or the capture point or the hardpoint, I suppose you call it. And um, every time you go on it, you get 200 XP. Obviously, they have to go on it after you go on it. So, you know, you go on it, come off it again, they go on it, then you get them off it. And then, um, and then um, you can go back on it. And then, obviously, you get an extra 200 points. So, I do recommend playing Hardpoint if you guys want to rank up. And obviously, we'll look at all his cousin classes in a minute. But let's look at his multiplayer statistics first. They guard 76. Alright, as you can see here, guys, already looking at the summary um, and his recent matches. He hasn't played in the last seven days because he is playing on another account. Because what happened, guys, if you don't remember, is, is there was XP lobbies on Black Ops 2 within like the first two weeks. And um, obviously, Treyarch went through and they tried their hardest to reset everyone. Obviously, they reset a few people that were legit. And one of these were number one, obviously, Digar76, because he was number one at the time. I'm actually trying to work with Treyarch now and trying to get his, um, you know, I'm trying to get his rank back on the leaderboards because that's what he deserves, I suppose. So I will hopefully get his rank back on the leaderboards for him. And um, he should be number one again. I don't think he will be number one because currently Top Love 666 is the most legit number one, and he's probably got more score than him now because he's, you know, because he's, um, he is always playing. Whereas Digard76 isn't playing like all the time. So, um, no, he's gone to like a new account because um, he, he got reset on the leaderboards, so that's why he obviously hasn't played in the last seven days. As you see here, guys, win percentage not so great. It's a 59 percent. I think it's better than mine. Mine's probably worse than that. But um, you know, this is the guy that plays it all the time, so he's got a 59 percent win ratio. And his score per minute 441. Anything over 400, I would say, is a good score per minute. So I do recommend getting a good score per minute that's over 400. As you see his hours, guys, 248 hours, and as we've seen before, 213 of those hours spent playing a hard point. And the second most is 17 hours playing team deathmatch. If you don't remember, guys, as well, Modern Warfare 3, I believe Digger 76 most played mode was Team Deathmatch. He used to be very high in Team Deathmatch. So perhaps he just likes playing Horror Point more, or perhaps it's because he, you know, or perhaps it's because you can rank up quicker. I don't know. But obviously, Horror Point seems to be his mode of choice. And as you can see here, guys, as well, we want to look at his custom classes now, or better still, let's look at his weapon performance first. And as you can see here, guys, the SMR was the gun I was trying to refer to. I don't know why I called it the TAR. I thought it was the MTAR, but it's obviously the SMR. <laughs> but he's only got three kills, zero deaths, so that's why he's got three KD. But let's let's sort it by kills. Um, his most used gun is the MAA1. It's got a 1.56 KD, and you're probably thinking like, oh, how comes he's got a almost two KD with a 1.56 as most used gun? And the reason for that, guys, is most probably because. Um, he uses kill streaks and stuff, and obviously when you get kill streaks, they also, you know, they will also affect your kill death ratio because they'll get you kills and stuff. So I do recommend guys using a gun that is of this caliber. You know, using the MA A41, no, the MA A1 it is a great gun to use. It shoots a full round burst, so it is really good. Type 25, I think it was overrated to be honest. It isn't that great. The MP7 I recommend, you know, I do recommend using, and the Vector K10 was the gun that I started out with. I got like a thousand kills in the first, like, you know, in the first day it came out or something like that using the Vector. It is a really good gun. The M27 is really good as well, well like Silencer and stuff. I do recommend that one as well. The MSMC is also a great gun to use, and finally the PDW is a great gun as well. Mainly some machine guns in Black Ops 2, I know, but you know, if if they're the best guns, you know, why not use them? As you can see here, guys, most used kill streaks. The Hunter Killer, um, he's he's got about you know he's thrown one thousand nine hundred and forty-five and only got nine hundred kills. So the other thousand could have possibly taken out kill streaks or score streaks. The, the the other thousand could have possibly just blown up randomly something like that. I do not know, but they obviously didn't kill no one. 
and his second new skew kill streak is a sentry gun. Surprisingly, he's got 1,829 uses with it and 3,029 kills with it. So that's a great ratio there for the sentry gun. And also the stealth chopper, that's basically like a 4%, um, no, a 4 a four, um, score streak ratio, if you know what I mean. Like, um, he's, he's called 1,055 out, and he's got 4,308 kills. And as you know, guys, as I've mentioned on Team GBR commentaries, the Stealth Chopper is basically like the Pavlo, so I do recommend using that as well. And the AGR as well, also a great kill streak, almost a two score streak ratio on that. Um, he's got 844 uses with it, and he's got 2,084 kills. So it is, it is a great, you know, score streak to use. And is one, two, three, four, is that five? Yep. And his fifth most used uh, score streak is the UAV. He's called 753 in, got zero kills, but that's, you know, if you don't know that UAVs don't get you kills, then sorry, but you, you you know, you you must be a complete Call of Duty noob, because everyone knows that UAVs just show you where they are on the enemy map, and that's the reason why he's got no kills, obviously. Anything we look at, we can look at this, guys. His most used equipment is concussion grenades, so I presume he's been using concussion grenades. It doesn't look like he uses equipment a lot, so there's not much point being here. He's been killed by concussion grenades 10 times, that's kind of funny. And he's been killed by shock charges 8 times, kind of funny I suppose again. And his most used grenades, his most used grenades are either the C4 or the frag grenade. The frag grenade 8,214 times with a 1,024 kills, so not too great. He's been killed almost 500 times with the frag grenade. C4 used that 2,681 times and he's killed 590 people with it. So I, I would say he's more effective. I don't know, um, he's probably more effective with the C4, and that is probably the reason, because when you spawn, sometimes you, you know, you always throw, like, a random, uh, frag grenade, whereas C4, you seem to, like, use it more strategically, like, round corners and stuff, or, or if you actually know they're there, rather than just throwing it randomly and blowing it up, so that's probably why he, he has a better ratio with the C4, and that is about it, guys, other than looking at his custom class, and we can look at that right now, we have to wait for this here to load, do 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 and if you didn't know, guys, Digger76 is on my friend list. He, he is, like, a great guy to be playing with. I've played with him before. He is an awesome guy. Just, you know, just thought I'll throw that out there. <laughs> and, um, here's his custom classes, guys. And what I like about Elite now is that you can actually copy classes. So, so if you do like the look of his classes, you can just click copy. And it'll copy his class to to one of your custom classes. Like, if you click copy look, then, it, then, you, then you choose what one of your custom classes you want to put it on. But I don't know why we're doing this now, but yeah. Then you do just, then you just paste it onto one of your classes, which is a really good thing to use. If you like the look of his classes or anyone else's classes on the game, you just put their PSN and then you can copy a, you know, then you can copy a class over. Or if on Xbox, obviously you just put their Xbox gamer tag up there. And this is his classes, guys. As I said before, the most, you know, as I said before, all, all the guns practically, like I said before, You've got the M4 and the M8 A1 here, guys. Very good gun to use. And with select fire, obviously that will make it all fully. That obviously make it fully automatic. And I would recommend using suppressor on it. It seems to make it much better. And the iron sights on it are really good. So you know you don't have to use anything like um, what's it called? Like like um, red dots, like for example, so something like that. And this second class uses the Vector K10, which again is a great gun, as I said before. And the M27, as I said before, is another great gun. The MSMC, another great gun. MTAR, not so good. Type 25, not so good. The R8700 M MCS, probably, or well, it's basically Remington 870 MCS. Uh, I think it means multi combat shotgun. I'm not sure, I think it does. I saw that somewhere. It is the best shotgun, in my opinion, so I'd be recommend using that. He's running with a hard line and flat jacket. You know, all, all the stuff that you would expect him to use. It, they are great parts of stuff. They are great attachments. Obviously, the frags and the C4s there. And he's got another M4A1 class there in gold, I believe, yeah. And he's got, he, finally, he's got a sniper class here. A, that's a semi-automatic sniper. It's not too good. The best sniper, in my opinion, is the, uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's, like, with the 50 on the end, which obviously stands for the caliber of the gun, I believe. But that is probably the best sniper. Um, I forgot what it's called, but the second best sniper, I would say, I, I, you know, which I do actually know the name of it, is the Ballistica. That is a great sniper to use as well, guys. So I'd recommend using that as well. And that's about it, guys. That's all there is to show about Digar76. I hope you enjoyed just looking at the pros. And um, the reason why it's cool looking at the pros is because some of you guys thought it was like MOG people. No, it's just like it's just a name that I wanted to be original with because I could have called it like looking at leadable tops, but that just sounds shit to put it really bluntly because it, you know I think it does anyway. And um, 
yeah, so that's why I call looking at the pros, guys. And I hope you guys like this first episode. There will be many more to come of all the top leaderboard players, and I'll be going through them more. And as you remember, guys, I did do this for more of a free for Digard. I will put a link to that in, a, in a, you know in the description below if you're interested in looking at his, you know at looking at his statistics for more of a free. It's been Juba Concepts, guys. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and peace out.